Hey, hey, Spring Lafay, Simply Tara. Okay, well, I took a, I took a day for myself, but I'm back. Um, I just seen on the clock 12-12, you know, and basically, you know, the angels and, and your high, the higher, you know, the angels, the spirit guides, everyone, it's like they're working on, you know, you, you need to keep your goals in the right place. You need to, um, think of your higher self. Um, yeah. And, you know, it's, it's like, keep your goals, keep, keep what's for your higher good in your mind, is what I'm getting, but. Yeah, if you have Pisces in your chart, this may be a reading for you because this is a Pisces reading. Um, cross watchers, you're welcome. So, you know, even the cross watchers, this could be a reading for you. So, you've got to put yourself where you belong. Now, I'm, I may feel, you know, that, uh, well, this card is Pisces, but <laughs> it's not going to hit everyone that way. So, you know, when you watch a reading pick where, where you're at because you know what's going on in your life okay we're going to see what we get for Pisces Earlier, I glanced up before I did uh, a couple readings back, and I seen 1111 on the clock. You know, keep your thoughts positive. Keep them positive. You manifest what you think. As long as it's positive and for your higher good. And not going to hurt anyone. Okay. Pisces, what does Pisces need to know? Pisces, what does Pisces need to know? Okay. Okay, someone wants to work on a relationship. Pisces, what does Pisces need to know? Pisces, what does Pisces want need to know? Remember, put yourself where you belong. Okay, someone wants to go to forward. They want to go towards someone. For some of you, this is a marriage that it feels like it has ended. Because we've got, you know, something. Something, there was an ending. The tower came down. I just seen the tower card. Oh, uh, I seen the devil card too. So, for many of you, this had something to do with stagnation or some form of addiction. Something that was negative. Um... But it's, it's as if something ended, you know, a relationship ended. Someone's wanting to go back towards their, their person. Um, the, it's like they're holding on to their energy, their, their disconnection. They're holding on to it. But they left that person out in the cold. You might want to watch Aquarius reading. Many of you may want to watch Aquarius reading. If, you, if your person has Aquarius in their birth chart... You may want to watch that reading. This is where this person's at now. So, you have to put yourself where you belong. But whoever was left out in the cold is no longer in the cold. It's like they're standing on their own two feet. They're standing strong. I'm drawn to this card right here. They, they have a strength about them. Yes, you know, it, it's a feeling that they have a lot of lessons, uh, uh, wisdom, through life lessons, yeah, <laughs> they went through a lot. Uh, this is someone who has love constantly, it's like they're full of love, it's like a very nurturing, you know, the Empress is someone who nurtures, 
someone who can grow things, can grow a family, can grow whatever. I mean, basically, and, you know, there's a lot of, this is a person who loves, who loves others. Someone who's happy. We got this card. The lovers. Yeah, I'm drawn to, just like in the Aquarius reading, you may want to watch that. Because your person may have Aquarius in their birth chart. I'm drawn to, you see Adam and Eve. You see the tree that's burning, the burning bush. Yeah. This person got burnt badly. The one that was left out in the cold got burnt badly. And someone had, someone, the person that's wanting to come back, this is, their mind is full of everything about this person. And also, this person here has so many suitors. There's not one. It's like people are seeing this person. People have been watching this person grow and come out of this, this sense of um, doom that they were, it feels like, left in. You know, it feels like this person, they are also growing abundance, stability for themselves. They're, they're standing. But the person that's wanting to come back, you know, after the tower fell and something ended, they killed a relationship, it feels like. Basically, that's the best way to put it. Yes, I got the word killed, so they killed it. Um, they turned their back, and they walked away. You know, they walked away. I'm seeing the walk away card now. But they're looking. They turned their back. And and now, this is what they're seeing is the past. It's, it's all the past. They, they just, it's like they... They have people behind them, but they, they can't get the past out of their head. They may need to meditate. They may need to do some cord cutting or something. You know. Yeah, someone walked away. Left someone standing alone. And someone, someone's going to have this. new beginning for some of you this is a divorce for others of you you know one this is someone who wants to come back for some of you you know this person seeing a change in a, such a change in you that it's left them kind of hanging they just they they're constantly thinking about what they had what they had what they left behind and, you know, that's kept them stuck in their head. They want to move. <laughs> they want to move towards you. But this empress right here, or you want to move towards them. You've got to put yourself where you're at. This empress right here is moving away from this choppy water. Is moving to calm water. Away from the broken heart. Because that empress is somebody that knows their worth and their value now. They've learned lessons through life. And this was what they were dealing with. And yes, somebody walked away. This is here because something needs to go. Someone needs to let go of the past. So they can have happiness. Someone. Someone is carrying a lot in their mind. This is burdens within the mind. They can't quit thinking about how they hurt someone. So badly. But there's the need. To let go of the past. If you know. I'm just seeing the ace of swords. The truth. Someone. Their conscience is getting them. So, you know, they can either live with what they've done or they can give that truth. That's what I'm getting with that, yes. The time is ticking. I'm seeing this as a clock. The time is ticking. 
for someone, something. It's got to do with papers. So I'm not sure. Something to do with papers. Papers. Some form of paperwork. Someone wants to communicate. Uh, someone, while in this relationship, and it's pointing towards the one that's wanting to come back, gave crumbs before they left. They did not, it's like they were constantly looking back on the past. This is, I'm sure I've done a reading that was similar to this already. They were constantly looking on the past that they, they were too focused on the past to see the love that was being handed to them freely. And they guarded themselves. It feels like they were very hard to speak with when they got that way. That's the feeling with that. Now this person wants a new beginning and they want to offer something, but I'm getting giddy with that card. Giddy. Giddy. For me, that is... Um, what I'm getting, basically, is if you couldn't trust them before, can you trust them now? Higher power is involved. Soul connection. Okay. Someone thinking very hard. about offering some emotion. Wanting to balance this connection. Someone's being guided. Some One of these people's being guided. You know, I'm not feeling like this King of Swords is the other person. I'm feeling like that's something that needs to be done. This I'm not feeling like is the other person. This is a higher power. Whether that be in... You know, for some with divorce, that could be, you know, a judge. For others, that is God or a higher power. God or the angels. You know, but this person, they want to move forward towards you. This is a soul connection. You have known each other before. If you don't believe in soul connections, a very strong connection. Strength is here for whomever needs it. But I'm also drawn to the infinity. What goes around comes around. What goes around comes around. I'm seeing justice. Karma. Karma don't lose an address. You may be dealing, though, you may be dealing with an Aquarius or a Libra or a Gemini. And here's your card. Someone, <laughs> they're all in their head. They have chatter. They can't see straight. They're all in their head. Wanting a blessing. Wanting family. Wanting happiness. Wanting to bring balance to their life. Wanting to make not only a, an emotional plea, but also something that's tangible. Wanting victory. Decision has to be made. But if you couldn't trust this person, then can you trust them now? Karma. What goes around comes around. So that's what I've got. Let's see what the angels had to say. We'll pass this please. We'll pass this please. Oof, shut up this far. I'm not sure about all these now. This I might have to check them. Okay. Chemistry. There is a strong magnetic attraction here. And yes, all of these are here. But they're not all going to be for you. You have to look at them good and figure out which are for you. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. 
new love, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life. Getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. True love. This is a romance of a lifetime. Children. Your love life is being affected by children. Past life relationship. You have known each other before. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. I'm being told to look at the bottom. There's another one. Hi. Someone has called in their soulmate also. Or needs to call in a soulmate. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So that's what I've got. If this does not resonate with you, don't try to make it fit your life. Only take away what resonates with you. And give it a thumbs up. That way YouTube moves it along. And until next time, bye.